on a hot day like today, I could go for my favorite milkshake from my favorite mm. fast food place, and it is just so hot, <laughs> and uh, it's dangerously hot as well. Yeah, we've got the heat and the humidity building yet again for our Monday. That's going to continue into the day on Tuesday. We've got sunshine and some mid and high level clouds out there. This view from West Des Moines temperatures already at the 90 degree mark. We've got winds a little bit stronger today out of the south and dew points well into the 70s today. Again, it's the tropical oppressive feel outside this afternoon. Upper 80s to low 90s right now for the lunch hour and dew points again uh, climbing into the mid 70s even for places just across or just into southern Iowa, just south of I 80 here. So we've got a lot of heat and humidity in place right now. That's going to make our feels like temperatures climb into the triple digits, especially across western Iowa. We've already got it feeling like 100 in Carroll, 100 in Council Bluffs, feels like close to 100 in Ames and Des Moines as well as Sheridan and Creston. So these are the kind of heat indices we're going to be looking at as we head into the rest of the afternoon today. Hence why we have that uh, heat advisory in place across western portions of the state. Next 12 hours, we keep our temperatures into the mid 90s. Lots of sunshine. I think the rain is going to stay into far eastern Iowa here as we head into the afternoon. So central Iowa, I think we're going to be dry, hot and muggy through the rest of the day today. We climb back up into the mid 90s on Tuesday. As we head into the day on Wednesday, we get a little break temperature into the mid 80s back to a mix of sun and clouds and then really for the duration of this work week we'll keep temperatures into the 80s here right through Friday and into Saturday and Sunday a few more rain chances return not only tomorrow but also as we head into the end part of the work week under level one out of five here for severe weather across central Iowa better chance for some stronger storms to develop say from Mason City down through Waterloo Cedar Rapids back out towards the Quad Cities I think a lot of us here in central Iowa again don't get in on any rain here later on today, which will be good news for the flooding that we've got going on across northern Iowa. The rest of today, again, some sunshine will keep it hot and humid. If any storms do develop, it's going to be eastern Iowa back up into Wisconsin and Illinois. I think will be pretty much capped here across central portions of the state. We go into Tuesday morning. We start off with sunshine. I think tomorrow we have a better shot at seeing some showers and thunderstorms develop across central Iowa through the late afternoon, evening and overnight hours. And then Wednesday again, the day we get a little bit of a break here uh, from uh, rain and storms. Rain Tracker has most of the rain falling along and south of I-80 here as we go into Tuesday afternoon and evening. This takes us up through Tuesday night. So looking at some more downpours possible with those storms that do develop heading into the day tomorrow. Today, I think we end up staying dry, more sunshine, temperatures back into the mid 90s, mid and upper 70s here as we go through the evening hours tonight. Again, another warm, humid, muggy night. Temperatures do not cool off much overnight tonight. Tomorrow's forecast back up into the mid 90s best chance for storms again is going to be central and southern portions of the state heading into Tuesday afternoon. We'll be weather aware again tomorrow. Mid 80s on Wednesday looks really nice for the middle part of the work week. Then of course uh, a few more storm chances ramp up by Thursday and Friday.